Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Grable in our grade 3 math class. Today we're going to learn a new word. It's called array. A-R-R-A-Y. And arrays are more than one, of course. So you're going to work with some arrays today. It's a cool new word. So we are on Unit 8, Lesson 3, page 118. There we are. 100. 110 and 18 using arrays to multiply. So this is the strategy. Okay, a quick review. An array shows objects arranged in equal rows. Keep in mind that word equal. Now we're going to use rows so it stays organized. This is a 2 by 5 array. As you can see on the page, there's 2 by 5. So there's 2 up and down and 5 across. There are two rows of five counters. So two times five equals 10. It's the way to show it. Represent, right? This is a five by five array. There are five rows of five counters. So you can see as we're going down the page here, there's five and five. So horizontal and vertical. This is a one by four array. There are one, there is one row of four counters. So pretty simple one there because it's just four straight across. So it's one times four equals four. And finally, this is a three by one array. There are three rows of one counter. So when they go down, it's the three that comes first. So three, and there's only one row. Or one counter, sorry. So three by one. 3 times 1 equals 3. Now we're going to do it with some, some fruits, it looks like, or vegetables. Now, they have these ones to try and write a multiplication sentence for each array. I have them over here with our blocks. So I noticed that there were, we'll look at the red ones first here, 3, 1, 2, 3, vertically, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, horizontally. So I believe 1 is 3 times 5. See if you can find out the answer. And then 2, I believe, we've got green ones here. We have 2, 1, 2, by 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2 times 4. Find out that answer. And then finally we have a big one here. The last one not sure if we can see it there. Make sure we get them all in there. There's lots in here. There's a lot. There's one, two, three, four times one, two, three, four, five. So four times five. The orange ones. There we go. So a new word called arrays. Give it a try and we'll be practicing soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.